Which is better, split lock washers or nylon lock nuts? I tested both in my do-it-yourself impact and vibration test rig to find out. The results may surprise you. This simple test rig, made up of two flanged bushings, represents two metal pieces that are clamped together by a nut and bolt. The test jig was thrown back and forth in this test rig. To see if the test jig could withstand the impact and vibration without loosening or losing its clamp load. Studies have shown that transverse forces that act across the diameter of a bolt are more involved in loosening nuts and bolts than the axial forces that act in line with the length of the bolt. Let's experiment. 3 8 by 16 zinc plated nuts and bolts were used. The test results are specific to this setup and following conditions. The nuts and bolts were torqued to 6 foot pounds. Basically, because the minimum reading for my torque adapter is 5.9 foot pounds. The super sophisticated reciprocating saw was used. First, we established a control with plain hex nuts with no locking device. Three control assemblies were assembled and the speed set to 1. The first control assembly came loose within 15 seconds. Same for the second control assembly. And the third. A complete failure of the bolted joint like this could be very dangerous. Next, we tested the split lock washer and nylock lock assemblies. Torque to the same 6 foot pounds. The speed still set to 1. And marked with paint marks to detect any movement. First a split lock washer. Test 1. After 30 seconds, the bolt had turned. And after 60 seconds, the nut had almost completely spun off the 2 inch bolt. Test 2. After 30 seconds, the paint marks were misaligned. After 60 seconds, I couldn't turn the nut with my fingers. Here's a closer look. After a minute 30 and 2 minutes, I still couldn't turn the nut. Oops. Finally, at just about 2 minutes and 30 seconds, the nut flew off the bolt. Here's a close-up of the flange with the marks from the split lock washer and a deep gouge. Similar with the nut. Test 3. After 30 seconds, the paint marks were misaligned like the other two tests. After 60 seconds, I could not turn the nut with my fingers. Same after 1 minute 30 and 2 minutes 30. Here's a close look at the teeth of the split lock washer biting into the nut and flange. No change after 3 minutes, 30, and 5 minutes. The same after a very long 10 minutes. The split lock washer had a very good hold of the nut and flange. I placed the jig in a vise, turned the nut with a ratchet, and the gap opened wider. Increasing the torque released the hold with the teeth of the split lock washer scraping the nut and flange. Here's a close up look at the damage of the nut and the flange with a deep gouge and raised ridge from the scraping.
now the nylon lock nut or nylock. Torque to the same 6 foot pounds. The speed still set to 1 and marked with paint marks to detect any movement. Test 1. After 30 seconds, the paint marks look aligned. After 60 seconds, a little misalignment. After 3 minutes and 5 minutes, the misalignment was very noticeable. Here's a close up. The nylock held onto the bolt, but I was able to turn the bolt slightly, signifying that the preload or clamp load was lost. After another 5 minutes, the bolt was a little easier to turn with my fingers, but the nut still had a firm grip on the bolt. Test 2. After 30 seconds, 60 seconds, and 3 minutes, the misalignment was noticeable, but I could not turn the bolt with my fingers. After 5 minutes, I still couldn't turn the bolt with my fingers. And after a total of 10 minutes, I was able to slightly turn the bolt with the nylock firmly holding the bolt. Test 3. After 5 minutes, the bolt was easy to turn with my fingers with the nylock firmly holding the bolt. And after 10 minutes, there was little to no change. In conclusion, the results of the split lock washers were very inconsistent versus the consistent results of the nylocks. While the nylocks didn't completely fail like two of the split lock washer assemblies, all three nylock assemblies did lose their preload, which isn't a good thing.